bounce is like on the side of the court or it's like really hard to get to, I try using my brain to predict where's this ball gonna go. And I end up running way off the court just to try getting that ball back into play. And then once he goes over there, the other person just sends it on the other side. So I'm basically just running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I get exhausted because it's just a ton of running. And this is when someone came up to me and they're like, Amishi, you see, I see you, you're trying to work so hard, you're trying to understand the real concept of it, but then they also said, Amishi, you take geometry. So think of the tennis court as a geometry shape. It's just a bunch of rectangles put together. And if you really think about it, if you know that this is a rectangle, and if a ball is bouncing here, this forms your right triangle. So run perpendicular to that ball so you can get it a lot faster. Don't wait for that ball to go off the court. Get it right where it bounces so that you're perpendicular and you can hit it right back on and you're still on the court. And this kind of blew my mind because I never thought about thinking about a tennis court as a geometry shape. And then I started looking around and I'm like, oh my God, I can get to so many more balls faster by deciding if I have to run perpendicular or if I, if I, or if I have to run parallel to it. It was amazing. And then the second thing that same person told me is that, Amishi, focus on your swing as well. Think about physics. You need to go low to high so you can get enough friction, enough speed onto that ball so you can send it over to the next side with it spinning and moving. And then, once again, it blew my mind. I never thought to apply physics and geometry into tennis. And of course, it was a little bit harder for me to understand the physics, because I'm not in a physics class right now. But since I, was, I am in a geometry class, I was able to understand it more. But then, I realized that the real problem is, is that sports, they start as early as elementary school. But then these concepts about physics and geometry that you would know, need to know for tennis or any other sport really, isn't taught until later in high school. So how about alongside with you playing sports, teachers can also teach the basics of geometry and the basics of physics in applying them to different types of sports. Because if you think about it, most sports are some sort of geometry shape and you need some sort of physics to get to win. Basically, same thing for basketball, same thing for volleyball, same thing for baseball even, and tennis as well. So what do you think about this unique thought? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't guessed already, welcome to the Perspective Building Workshop specialized for you so you could get your unique thought by just monitoring your day-to-day -day surroundings. And if I could get my unique thought by the geometry, physics, and a tennis court, then you can too. So make sure to keep your eyes and your mind wide open. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye!